first question is on, should be maybe the next slide. Sorry, Shopee, can, can, uh, uh, so the, the first question on which generic IP strategy is used by ARI. So uh, first and foremost, we considered the business strategy. So they are focused on a niche market uh, and that is on professional cinematographic cameras. And uh, the, the, the mission of the company is really to have a perfect understanding of specific market needs uh, in order to provide unique high performance features and at the same time having high user friendliness. So we felt that their, their, their IP strategy is, main, uh, is, is uh, primarily a value-based monopoly based on differentiation. And, and hence, uh, there is a focus on protection of user relevant features. And it's based on the objective of designing USPs and protecting them from imitation by the means of IP. Uh, so the company focuses uh, in this aspect, uh, there's a lot of uh, emphasis on um, if both efficiency as well as effectiveness. And now uh, Shupei will, will uh, cover the uh, second question. Um, so we analyzed um, the, the question about how the maturity of an IP management uh, company can be assessed based on the example of ARI. And we, we think that this is how an IP organization can actually assess itself using a framework to see how it can improve and also how to assess where it is now and where it can be. So where it is presently and where it can be in the future. And so there are different um, approach levels classified by these following dimensions. So goal definition, risk management, responsibility, formalization, process quality, consistency of strategic levels and budgeting. And in considering each of these <laughs> In considering each of these um, dimensions, a company can um, assign different levels based on the, the development or whether it has um, implemented such process into its company organization, such as level one, if it has not implemented it at all with no formal approach. Level two, perhaps it reacts rather than preempts um, certain situations. Level three, where it per perhaps has started um, implementing a formal or systematic approach. Level four, when um, it, uh, it uh, goes through a systematic uh, review of improvement. Um, and this is, um, this ties in better with the long-term improvement of the company and level five would, I, I guess, be symbolic of a higher maturity level. And the end. <laughs>